Hi, I'm late. Very much so. Sorry. Here's my old project that was scrapped. But before we get into the meat of the video, let's start with the appetizer. I'm not an audio pro. This is not advice from an experienced person. This review is a bit of fun and some education. If you want unbiased reviews from pros, you might want to check out Curtis Judd, Soundspeed, Booth Junkie, and Podcast Stage. Zoom and terrible audio quality apparently go hand in hand just the other day. And no one cares about you. So welcome to the only review of the CM60 on YouTube. So how does Austin do this? So this is the Daxstar CM60. It is a mic coming all the way from China. It is a small diaphragm condenser meant for instruments only. But I'm going to be testing it only for spoken words. So if you're here for instruments or singing, I'm sorry. That's not what I'm going to do over here. We thought you were a nerd. Where are all the measurements? Patience, little one. It is the key to... Uh, it's the path to... Within it lies your salvation. What? Kids these days. Okay, okay boomer. boomer. CM60 has a self noise of 20 dBA, which is not great. It's a true condenser cardioid microphone that has a relatively flat frequency response with a little bit of resonance boost in the upper frequencies. Okay, I'm too slow. Fine. To me, wearing my Superlux AG660, they sound quite natural. I've asked others also, and they also agree with me. It sounds very natural, but 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 I'm a beginner, so please take my word with a grain of salt. It has a self noise of the max XPL is 130 decibels and the dynamic range is 110 decibels. It has a sensitivity of minus 36 decibels. Yes, that was great. CSGO teach me a lot about saving money, helping others, and patience. No, I not talk about yesterday. No, no, you cannot. Middle. So now I want to play long A. Let's just come through towards long Friends. Rajbi no stop super yet. No. Nope. No. I hate you. Here, I'll repeat myself. This mic is not meant for spoken word. It's brother the CM63 is meant for spoken word. But I will be testing this mic only for spoken word. Like most of the small diaphragm condensers, this is also a top address mic as it is meant to be boomed above the subject. If you're fortunate enough to be able to afford a more expensive microphone, then I would suggest 3212, the Sinal 3212, as it is better and has lower self noise. But this microphone is still pretty good for ambiance and, you know, as a backup mic. interrupt me whenever you want and start your own bit and then come whenever you want and tell me to finish my bit yes no build quality this microphone is made of metal which is unknown as you do and it's quite well built in my opinion but it does cuff easily there's also a 100 hertz high pass filter on it which is in my opinion a bit too high as 60 to 80 is more desirable you will also find the logo of the company right on the mic. You're not meant to handle condenser microphones with clumsiness. But as you have already guessed, I dropped it from a meter onto hard tile floor. Yeah, that's from one meter onto hard tile floor. And so far, as you can hear, it seems to be doing perfectly well. The condenser capsule itself is removable, as you can see. But so far, I haven't been able to find a replacement on AliExpress. So, you want to learn how to get the best audio quality. You need to record on the tape. It's natural. Now, if somebody comes to you in real life claiming tape is better than digital, you know what you should do with them? This. Boom. Done. You will need 48 volts of phantom power to power this microphone like most of the condensers need. It can be provided by an interface or a portable XLR recorder. In my opinion, since this is a cheap mic, you will be better off buying an, an interface because you can get some decent quality for a fairly low price. My tier list of interfaces goes like this. The Mode 2M2, the Focusrite 2i2, 2nd Gen, 
directly from Focusrite's website. Make sure you buy the free furbished version to save the earth and all that stuff. Also, there's free shipping worldwide, so I, I don't know why wouldn't you do that. And the last one is the UMC22 from Behringer. You can plug any of these interfaces into a Mac or a Windows computer, and you should be ready to rock and ready to record. It might seem like I'm a bit harsh on this microphone. But truth be told, if this was a $200 microphone, I would not recommend it. But since this is only $25, this is a great microphone for indoor recording for your videos and stuff. Because of the amount of detail you can get out of your recordings, I would 100% recommend this to anybody.